Hi there, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. My name is Andre Kröker from Dagubi. In this tutorial I would like to show you what happens when you open your Illustrator vector file in Photoshop, when you're working in Illustrator with Live Paint or Shape Builder or with a knife tool. And I will show you how you can fix the problem with the borders and gaps that you see in Photoshop. So in this tutorial I work with my cartoon head. This um, head I have created in Illustrator. You can find this tutorial in my YouTube channel Drawing, Inking and Coloring a Cartoon Character. So for this tutorial I have used the Live Paint, the Live Paint Bucket and the Knife Tool. And when you look at the image in Illustrator, all the borders looks clean. Here you can see the borders. It's very clean. But when you open this file in Photoshop and when you zoom in, you can see the borders uh, are unclean and you can see gaps. When you change the background, you can see this green and red on these borders. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem in Illustrator. So the first thing what we need to do is expand the live paint. Select all these objects, go to Objects, Live Paint and click on Expand. So the next step is you need all these objects with the same color and that goes like this. Please choose the magic wand tool and open the options for this one tool and set the tolerance to fill color uh, one and now select for example this color and now open the Pathfinder and click on Unit. So make the same with all the other colors. You can see when I click on Unit, these objects are uh, changed to one object. So OK, I check it now in my Photoshop. Select all, copy and paste it in my Photoshop document. So now you can see all the gaps. For example, this are clean, but you can see the background on this border and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So the next thing what we need to do is to make all the borders of the objects overlapped. And that goes like this. Please select all these objects. Now go to Object, Path and choose Offset Path. Enable the preview. Now you can see the overlapped area. Please change it to 0 0.03 for example. Yes, that's OK. Click OK. Now I zoom in and you can see all the borders are overlapped. When you copy all this, and pass it in your Photoshop document,
and zoom in. Now you can see all the borders are correct and clean. Okay, that's it. I hope I could help you with this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.